So I thought we'd have a go at uh, George Ezra's song, Budapest. Um, several ways to play this. So first, first of all, I'm going to go through the shapes um, of the chords that he uses. Um, he actually detunes, so he goes down a whole step, so it's going from one note to another, not a, not a sort of sharp or a flat, but a whole note. So uh, it's taking this E down to a D, uh, A, A goes down to G, D, D goes down to C. On the G, G goes down to F, B, B goes down to A, and on the E, same as the bottom E, goes down to D. So that's if you want to detune. Detune and use these chord shapes and you'll be able to play along with it. Here's the chord shapes. So, this is not detuned, by the way. This is standard tuning. So, you want the shapes of G, and you want to hammer on. And you want to mute, palm mute with this. A C D to a C. So there's a few extra things you can do um, to just make it a little bit nicer. So you can use this G of course, hammering on to the, the second fret on the A string. You can change your fingers around a bit like a bit like George does. So if you see him performing, you may see him using his hands that way. This also comes in handy because there's a little run which is on the B string. So the B string, third fret, first fret and then open. Something extra you can do that I like to add is, is on the D, uh, suspend fourth. So the fourth finger's going on to the third fret on the E, taking it off. Second finger's gonna come off so the E is open. End up ending on, on the B. Okay, cool. Um, when you go down to the C, you can actually play a C major seven, so take the first finger off. This fourth finger can just drop on third fret B. Now I mentioned the guitar's detuned and it's detuned uh, down to a D. So let's imagine then that this string is open D. And so when we go on the first fret, it's going to be a D sharp or an E flat. Second fret is going to be E. And third fret, where this chord shape lands, is going to be F. So we know then that if we're in standard tuning, if we put an F, an F chord on, then it's going to fit in with the song. So the next thing I'm going to suggest is using the same original chord shapes that he uses and then we're going to do our, our best to get this capo on. Tenth fret. So, quite high for a capo, but this is why. So, here we find we've got our E, the octave, and we know we want to go for F. So, by putting the G chord on, it's going to land on the thirteenth fret. 
and that's going to be playing the F chord that we need and we're going to be playing the chord shapes that he plays so it should sound fairly similar. It's an octave up but you know it sounds really good with the original so So that's using the same chords and finally playing in the, the right key uh, to, to actually play along with, with the record. Um, so next off, uh, we know we want an F, so we can go down the bottom end playing F. This goes to a B flat. If you find that difficult, you can put your first finger on the top E and then make like a, an A shape, move it up so that's on the third fret for your B flat. Then we're going to go to a C. Again, C, B flat to F. So if we take this to the next stage, then we could take the first finger off and we have what looks like an E shape. And of course, that's what it is. So <clears throat> let's bang our trusty capo on. So now we don't need it to be F, it can be E. We don't need a B flat, it can be A. We still though need to do a bar of some form. Because we have this B that we need to do, which is of course based on A second fret. But there's a way around this, we can we can always do like we did with B flat and put this, this obviously be on the second fret, and then and then go back. So E, A, B. If you want to, you could always play this as like a, a power chord. So the E and the second fret on the A. And you can also get that little second fret on the D, which is also another E. So root and fifth on the octave, and then you can you can just hammer from second to fourth, and you've kind of got the original rhythm back. And it's all this without tuning. Um, it's just a speedy solution. So from that to A, on this, instead of playing the B like this, we could just take the first finger up to fourth and then so we've got a fourth fret here, this goes on to fifth to fourth, this is on the B, then on the G from six. So that's basically uh, several different ways for you to play the song. So whichever way you choose to do it, play, have fun. Um, my personal favourite, I've got to admit, is putting the capo on 10th and playing in the gene. Sounds great. Anyway, enjoy. Take care.